Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bara habata fillah It's very important for us all to strive to have istiqama To try our best to be straight And straight meaning that we are those who Tamasik bi sunnah, tamasik bil aqeedah that we are those people who are who try to adhere to the creed, the correct ittiqad of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, that we are those who have the appropriate manners, which are those of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that we are those who adhere to Islam and the tenets of Islam. And that we are those who adhere, which is one and the same, the, to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And all of that makes up al-istiqama. And al-istiqama wa iltizam. Uh, iltizam is another word often used in contemporary times to describe istiqama, to describe uprightness. And iltizam huwa mulazima tashay wa mudawama alayhi. That iltizam, it is adhering to something, you know, something that's your, that you adhere to, and that you are consistent with, or that you are regular with it, mudawama. And with that being the case, that is referring to that a person adheres to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their practice, in their creed, their understanding, and all the other aspects and sciences of Islam, to the best of their ability, at taqub. Uh, fear Allah as much as you can and that they are adhering to those things and practicing that and it's regular mudawama that it's it's a regular that you are regularly consistently adhering to the correct aqidah and manhaj or methodology for understanding Islam and methodology of dawah and doing righteous deeds consistently سأل سفيان ابن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله قل لي في الإسلام قول لا أسأل عنه أحد غيرك قال صلى الله عليه وسلم قل أمنت بالله ثم استقم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith رواه مسلم uh, as he was asked, he was asked by Sufyan ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, or asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, can you say to me, give me something from Islam uh, that if I, that I can't ask anyone else about except you. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in his Jawami' al-Kalam, meaning that he used to speak often with short statements with immense meanings. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, he said, قُلْ آمِنْتُ بِاللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَمْ Say, I believe in Allah, and then walk straight. And see right there that iman, that includes ikhlas, of course, that you have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And istiqama, that is that mutaba, that's following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in general. In general, those things are not, we could say, included or that they even become one and the same. That's definitely ikhlas wa sunnah. You know, that is ikhlas 
with thabat ala sunnah and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam because istiqamah of course is practicing your islam and how do you practice your islam except by the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how do you believe in allah except by the correct aqidah the correct creed amin tu billahi tumistaqam you know i believe in allah what is belief in allah that's tawhid so that is ikhlas and part of you know that is ikhlas that sincerity to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one's worship in one's intention Likewise, in another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Astaqimu wa naaman in istaqamtu." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another hadith, "Huwahu ibn Majah." Uh, he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "You know," and he said this in the imperative store, uh, imperative form. He sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Astaqimu," you know, "Be straight or walk straight, be straight." Uh, and what a excellent way if you walk straight. So he ordered, he commanded to be straight, and then he uh, not acknowledged, but he said that this is this. What a great way. This is if you walk straight. You know, that, this is a great ni'mah for you. It's a great blessing for you if you walk straight. And the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, أَسْتَقَمْ وَلِتَحْسَنْ خُلَقَ لِلنَّاسِ The Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, he said, Be straight and perfect your manners with people, how you deal with people, subhanAllah. And it's amazing to me how many people who claim to adhere to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but yet have wretched manners. They're suspicious when you come to their masjid. They easily backbite people. They uh, will curse and fight and have all the, the, the worst... Uh, manners, but claim to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's as if they miss this whole group of ahadith because we have so much evidence from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Nabi, Nabi and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in another hadith, "Ma min shayin athkulu fi mizan a mu'min yom al qiyama min husn al khulq, wa inna Allah yubghidu al fahish al badi." There isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer. Then good manners, and verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with istiqamah, with being straight, with, with, with being on having iltizam, adhering steadfast to his book in the sunnah of the, and, 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 and righteousness, and, and, you know, and that we should follow his sunnah alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al-Kareem, فَأَسْتَقَمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ وَمَنْ تَابَ مَعَكَ وَلَا تَتْغَوْ إِنَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Hud, uh, Surah Al-Hud, verse 112, He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and commands us again, walk straight as you were commanded. And whoever repents from you, uh, whoever repents with you and does not transgress, then verily Allah is all aware of what you do. You know, Allah sees everything that you do. So that shows us the importance of, again, ikhlas with thabat, adhering, you know, walking straight and being sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, or said fi kitab al kareem إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily those who say, Our Lord is Allah, and then walk straight. Abu Bakr, As-Siddiq, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he said about this ayat, he says, uh, he said, استقاموا أي لم يشركوا بالله شيء يعني استقاموا على توحيد أبو بكر الصديق رضي الله تعالى عنه And this is a rud out of those people who belittle توحيد Because here's Amir al-Mu'mineen The Khalifa Rashid uh, Abu Bakr Al-Siddiq رضي الله تعالى عنه who said about this ayat that we mentioned, he said, the meaning, istaqamu, you know, walk straight, ay, or it means, do not associate partners with Allah. Do not associate any partners with Allah. Yani istaqamu ala tawheed. Be upright on tawheed. وقال عمر رضي الله تعالى عنه الاستقامة أن تستقيم على الأمر والنهي ولا تروغ روغان الثعلب عمر رضي الله تعالى عنه he said الاستقامة you know this straightness it is to walk straight or adhere to the commands and the prohibitions. And not to go astray like a fox. And this shows us, Ahabba Tifillah, the importance of adhering to the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and walking straight. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala said fil ma'na istiqama regarding the meaning of istiqama ay adu fara'id that a person should uh, fulfill the obligations. وقال حسن رحمة الله عليه and I think this is حسن البصري I believe or it could be since he said رحمة الله عليه استقاموا you know walking straight he said this means استقاموا على أمر الله فعملوا بطاعته واجتنبوا معصيته that Walking straight, it means to adhere to the commands of Allah, to the command of Allah, and practice being obedient to Him and avoiding His sins. And there are countless statements of the Salaf al-Salih about this important uh, topic of walking straight, being upright. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat, and bless us to be uh, upright and be of those who practice what we preach and may Allah forgive us of our many sins and have mercy upon our souls and rectify our condition and bless us with ilm and nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al-muttaqabbin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam